everyone! Today's video is going to be hopefully an extremely peaceful vlog that I hope you all enjoy. I went out to Chibaken, Chiba Prefecture, which is to the east of Tokyo, to ride the local railway line called Isumi Tetsuno in Isumi City. It was just such an amazing day away from the busy and crowded Tokyo, and the scenery was so beautiful, and I really just felt like I was in a movie or anime. And I was so so excited to share with you all, so please sit back and relax and keep watching! To ride the Isumi Railway, we transferred at Ohara Eki, Ohara Station, which is almost about 2 hours by train from Tokyo Station. Since the local railway train only comes about once every hour, we browsed around the small station gift shop and also walked outside to see the area. most of it and so I think I'll upload that as a separate video for anyone that wants to see more of the gorgeous countryside scenery. It is really just so peaceful and so different from my daily life in Tokyo so I will link that below if I end up uploading it. We first got off at Kuniyoshi Eki, Kuniyoshi Station and I was so excited to see the man who sells the bento boxes. Unfortunately, they had already sold out of their famous octopus lunch boxes, but I was just happy to be able to see him with his adorable train hat. He was so friendly and waving to all of the passengers as the train left. We happened to go right during the Ajisai, Hydrangea season, but Isumi Tetsudo is also famous for the beautiful scenery during spring where there are many cherry blossoms and bright yellow nanohana flowers blooming along the railway. We were able to rent a bicycle for free and decided to go to a place nearby for lunch that the man at the station had suggested. The slogan used for this Isumi railway is Koko ni wa nani mo nai ga arimasu, which translates to here, what there is, is nothing. I thought that was so beautiful and clever because we often think of a place that has nothing as boring, but for anyone that just wants to appreciate nature and space and just get away from the city, it's definitely a great place to visit. After the most peaceful bike ride of my entire life, we reached Poppo no Oka, which is a railroad vehicle preservation facility. There were many trains that you were free to explore and a small cafe TKG, which stands for Cafe Tamago Kake Gohan, which is raw egg over rice. TKG is very very common to eat in Japan and apparently there is a chicken ranch nearby so they always serve delicious and fresh eggs. We decided to eat inside the train car set up to be a dining space and it was such a fun experience to be eating inside a train.
I got the gyudon beef bowl with egg and it came with miso soup as well. The view from the window of the train was so gorgeous and after our little lunch break, we decided to get some Kyoho grape soft serve for dessert. We bicycled back to Kuniyoshi Eki and returned the bikes and then we got back on the train and continued heading to Kazusanagano Station. We came to this cute little cafe which is actually located right at the bottom of a temple. I thought it was actually really nice seeing that she tries to make all of her sweets as natural and organic and healthy as possible with no additives. I ended up ordering rebos tea and strawberry roll cake and my friend ordered chocolate cake and orange juice. The woman that was running the cafe was so kind and sweet and she even gave us a cherry cupcake on the house. After our tea time, we decided to head up to the temple nearby to kill time while waiting for our next train back.
We had a long train ride back to Ohara Station, but we didn't mind since the scenery outside was even more beautiful as the sun was starting to set. Again, I think I will be making a compilation of all of these videos I took from the view of the train, so please do check that out as well when it is uploaded. I had such an amazing day in Isumishi, Chibake, and I hope you enjoyed as well. It really helped me forget any stress that I had from my daily life, and I definitely want to come back again in spring and hopefully explore more of the local stations. Thank you so much for watching, and I would love if you could subscribe for more Japan content, and I do read every single comment, so please let me know, and you will.